I'd like to welcome John Simpkins in today. John is going to talk to us today about wound bed preparation. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to the session on wound bed preparation this morning. John, I believe you are going to talk about the aim of wound bed preparation first and then the barriers to wound healing. We'll have a short break after the first session. That's right, Ham. Now, I'm sure all of you have had experience with the care of different types of wounds. As you probably know, wound bed preparation is an important part of the way wounds are managed these days. The preparation of the wound bed or base of the wound is vital if healing is to take place. I know you'll agree with me that wounds which are resistant to treatment are very frustrating, not least to the patient. The aim of wound bed preparation is to prepare a stable wound environment which results in wound healing. How is this achieved, John? First it is important to restore a well-vascularized wound bed. The tissues of the wound base should be supplied with oxygen and other nutrients. Next, it's important to decrease the high bacterial load by controlling inflammation or infection. Finally, it's necessary to create moisture balance in the wound environment, so that the wound is neither too dry nor too moist. How do we know that these three factors are important for wound healing? Studies show that wounds will not heal if there are certain barriers to healing present. The first barrier to healing is the presence of necrotic or dead tissue. The necrotic tissue stops healthy tissue from growing, so any dead tissue should be removed from the wound. After necrosis, the second barrier to good healing is a high bacterial load. This means a high level of infection which is carried by the tissues. So any infections are treated before effective wound care can start. Finally, imbalance of moisture levels in the wound bed also stops the healing process. Wounds which are too moist because of excessive exudates will not heal nor will wounds which are too dry or desiccated. Thanks, John. That was most interesting. We'll have a 10-minute break then continue with the session.